How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get six packed abs in three minutes for beginners. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Six packed abs, you guys. Um, not too difficult to get. There's lots of other things that are way harder to get than six packed abs. It comes down to understanding how six packed abs, six pack abs are actually developed and how you can actually see them. So you'll hear it all the time on the internet that people will say abs are made in the kitchen. Oh, you get a good diet, you lose weight, you get six pack abs. That's not how it works actually. Um, to some degree, yes. But I'll tell you right now for body fat percentage, the golden rule is usually 10% body fat. You get to 10% body fat, you get six pack abs, right? I've seen people at 10% body fat, no abs. I've seen people at 8% body fat, no abs. I've seen skinny, skinny people, five, 6% body fat. And I know that they were this body fat because they literally got tested five to 6% body fat. Guess what? No abs. Their stomach completely flat. You can't see any abs at all. So according to the rule, you get to a low body fat percentage, your abs should instantly pop. What you guys are missing is the actual muscle part of the equation. Your abs are a muscle, just like your biceps, your arms, you guys. My arms are 17 and a half inches, you guys. I have developed my bicep. So again, I have the shirt on right now, but when I flex and you can see my bicep and my tricep, you can see right here a clear distinction between my bicep and my tricep, that separation. That's what we're trying to get on our abs. We're trying to see all six abs individually. We want to get a clear six pack abs. We want it to be shredded. We want to be able to see these when we are not flexing. You want your abs to be six pack abs without flexing. Your abs need to be extremely developed for this to happen. Again, if you only get to low body fat percentage, you don't train your abs properly. You're going to look like the people I described. Five, six, eight percent body fat, no abs at all. One of the major things that has helped me get six packed abs, and it only took three minutes, literally three minutes, morning before going to bed, three minutes of doing flutter kicks. That is it. Three minutes, flutter kicks, boom, six packed abs. Um, that definitely helped. I think that can definitely allow you to get a good six pack. If you want an insane six pack, what you need to start doing is overhead movements, overhead pressing, overhead, overhead holds. So what I mean by that, stand up, um, don't sit on a bench and just do overhead presses like this. That's it. Literally get a dumbbell, lift it over your head. Get a dumbbell, hold it over your head. Hold it for 60 seconds. Get whatever dumbbell you can hold. I'm actually at 100 pound dumbbells. Uh, I hold a 100 pound dumbbell and I hold it for about um, three minutes straight. And I just hold it there. Overhead holds require an insane amount of core stability. It develops your abs extremely quickly. A lot of people, when they perform ab exercises, they don't do it correctly. By you holding that dumbbell overhead, it is impossible for your abs not to be contracting. Your abs are 100% contracting or you would not be able to hold that dumbbell overhead. So do some of those things. I guarantee you, you're gonna get six pack abs. End the video, thank you so much for watching.